All right, this is going to be for my earth signs. I see renewal right there. If you hear my son, y'all, he's just saying hello. <laughs> All right, I'm hearing national bestseller. If you're selling something, um, it's going to get national. You're the best at what you do. You're the best at something. Or, or if you're thinking about selling something, I'm getting sell it or it's going to go national for you. Some type of idea, ace of wands energy, something you're creating, something you're thinking about, an epiphany that you're having. It's gonna it's gonna be prosperous for you. Maybe you're at a crossroads about doing something, you're not sure, you're indecisive. I'm getting your ancestors and angels are guiding you towards doing something. Maybe it's against your belief system. All right, but whatever's against your belief system is connected to your ancestry. That's what some of you guys are learning, is what I'm getting here. Some of you guys could be changing your belief system or realizing that you've been conditioned possibly you're evaluating your beliefs is what i'm getting here yeah i'm literally looking at the the, the word lie you're seeing that some of the things that you've been believing in could have been lies or were systematic programming artificial conditioning yeah lies i feel like some of you guys feel like i feel like the mask of the world you're mourning the 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 loss of what you once known it's like you feel rejected by your religion or belief system once you what you, what you once believed in or what you once wanted to do was you know drawn to to go towards to create so, so i feel like some of you guys are rejecting i feel like people who are wearing who are wearing masks people who are wearing this facades I feel like you're also rejecting certain things that aren't in alignment with your belief system or in alignment. Something about is your belief system in alignment with your ancestral code, your ancestral inheritance, what your blood is, where you come from. So I feel like you feel guarded and lost when it comes to your belief system, when it comes to your lineage. But I feel like you're going to have to be vulnerable, tap into self-love, self-worth, and, self and expand your mind, expand um, your knowledge. I really feel like some of you guys are like grieving the loss of the 3D because you're realizing that it's an illusion here. That something's not as it seems. Yeah, intuition. And I feel like it, it could be putting you guys in this fearful, guarded um, place, but spirit is wanting you to tap into self-love or that's what you're doing. The focus on your desires, the focus on what you're manifesting, but then it puts you guys in this place of where does manifestation come from? And then you tap back into that, you know, spiritual side per se but that's against your belief system so i feel like some of you guys are just realizing you know finding out the truth and lie within the the earth within the world within realms religion you guys are finding out a lot of things are systematic that you used to believe in yeah indecision that's what i said indecision and that's what, there's my ace of fire i was channeling in the beginning so it's making you indecisive. It's like, which route do I ch do I take? Which place do I go? But spirit doesn't want you to avoid it or be in denial per se. It's like, look at all what you can create, manifest with the knowledge, the information that you're learning. Epiphany, exactly. It's meant to awaken you, whatever you're, you're going through. This shift here, this, this indecision energy that you're in is going to shift. You have family and foundation here. All right, so some of you guys are focusing on your family, on your foundation, on self-love. Some of you guys are paying some type of karmic debts when it comes to your family. There's some type of karma, uh, curse, literal curse being being broken. There was a curse that was like tearing some type of relationship or family apart. Yeah, karmic or karmics, karmic family members. Yeah, but there's like learning karmic lessons. So there's a lot of healing going on, a lot of vulnerability because... There was a lot of blocked heart chakras within you or within a family dynamic, which was stacking up karma. But there's debts being paid. You have karma, rewards, contracts, debts. So there's some type of debts being made. Karma, debts be Okay, so let me start over. Contracts, karmic contracts that you have with people, all right? For in this instance, within family, right? Those contracts are either being broken, healed, or paid, or the debts are being paid, right? Then it's going to karma, then it's going to reward. So there's something being healed and then there's a blessing that's going to come. There's a breakthrough. This is all faded. 444 as I say this. This is a manifestation. This is you. You're protected. Things are not as they seem. 
the divine is in full control. Divine intervention is here. There are divine detours on whatever journey road that you're on. This is another card saying karma, karmic cycles being paid, being healed, or simply being broken. Because not everybody in your family, you know, not everybody in your family wants to heal. And those people will have to be rejected or, or be rejected by your spirit guides is what I'm getting here. And then you've lost here. But your spirit guides are going to guide you, you know, towards what can be healed and what needs to be let go of, right? This is all faded, by the way. This is all divine intervention. This is the wheel of fortune. This is the change. You can be seeing five, five, five a lot. This is out of your control. Because there's, yeah, there's too many karmics within a situation is what I'm getting here. Friends, family members, work, co-workers. It's just too many people who feel obligated. To, you feel like it's an obligation to be in your energy and not a privilege. And spirit and your, in, yeah. So spirit saying they can get released. That's what I'm getting here. So certain people are being released subconsciously. You may be subconsciously released and people don't even know, but there's a purge here. Walking away from stagnancy, surrendering, releasing, letting go so that you can experience more love, attract more love within your life. And these people can't recognize your worth, your love, what you provide, what you offer to the table, they will be released. But they will be released into doing their own shadow work, just like you had to, just like you are. They will not be able to bind you to their karma no more. That's what I'm getting here. There's a, there's a friends and family members, lovers that, that were trying to bind, whether they know it or not, their karma to you. And I feel like they're being pushed into reflection to do the work on themselves as you reflect on these other people and yourself. Deep introspection energy. Yeah, distance. Spirit is distancing you from people who are not in alignment with your frequency or just who are not meant to be on your, per your path anymore. You know, everything's temporary. Some of these places we visit are temporary you know, places. The name Hadley could be significant. So I feel like you're soul searching and automatically it's, you know, the people that you cut off, it's going to cause them to either remain in that karmic energy or to reflect and soul search as well. So you're a lesson for your enemies. You're a lesson for your enemies. Soul ties. Reunion, soul ties. What did I say? There are people, family members, friends that you're going to be reuniting with and you're going to be stuck with, you're going to be not stuck. Well, some of you guys are going to be stuck with the Eight of Cups. You're going to be stuck with the choice of do I reunite or do I release and purge. And some of you guys are with this Eight of Cups are going to be releasing and purging because the divine is intervening. There's some things that they seen that you didn't see. I mean, the choice is yours as well. Not everybody you come into contact with, you reunite with, you're going to be ending. But there is going to be major changes made to that relationship when it comes back around because there's a reason why it ended was released in the first place. It needed to be cleansed. It needed to be healed. It needed to die so it could be rebirthed again. Or this could be you. And this could be that that those traditions, those past religions, those beliefs, they needed to die so that Ace of Earth here, wow, so that you could be fulfilled in a new one. So you can be fulfilled within the truth. So you can be fulfilled within your beliefs, the people within your life, your love life, your career, yourself, self-love, the things that you're manifesting. This is this says new fi new financial start, stable romance, prosperity, rewards. Did we not say rewards in this card right here? Long-term security. Spirit saying if they in alignment with this card right here. I'm hearing it's a distraction or they're going to have to fall off because you're going towards bliss. Your wishes, your desires will be fulfilled. You see this genie right here? Spirit is working on your manifest manifestation as I speak. North node, because you are in your north node. These Some of these people trying to come back around, reunite with you, they're in their south node, their comfort zone. You're already outside your comfort zone or being pushed outside your comfort zone. Spirit is pushing you outside your comfort zone towards fulfillment. Towards happiness, a happy outcome for you, towards achievements, towards structure, towards foundation. All right. And there's these toxic energies who could have been, you know, self sabotaging or sabotaged you, whatever this is, who are guilty over here on this side, right? Because you've done reflected themselves to them, trying to get back into your energy, right? Trauma bonds, energy vampires, energies that the devil has, you know, an attachment on. And these people see what you're investing in. They see that you've done the work. They see your future. This could even be dark high priestess trying to get into your energy, trying to see your future. They see that you're going to overcome or that you have. They see that you are going to get 
you know, this Ace of Pentacles. They see you're going to get stability, that you're meant for wealth, your inheritance. And they feel trapped now. They feel like they trapped themselves. Because they were still held bound on material things, egotistical things. So you're causing some people to have an ego death. Just by you recognizing and knowing your worth. Just by you investing within yourself. But this is also a card that the past is over. My son out there. <laughs> yeah, so you have abundance right here. Windfall of abundance here. They know that's coming in for you. Gift, celebration, promotions, opportunity. This is all success. Success is yours. Some of you guys, spirit is just showing you that your success is going to be in another area now. Now the success is focusing on this light, on this part of your life. So if you've had success in your love life, now we're focusing on your finances. If you've had success in your career, now we're focusing on your love life. If you had success, you know, in every other area, now we're focusing on you. It's like you're going to be successful in every single part of your life, literally. But some of you guys, you have to break old habits, old, you know, traditions, beliefs, old people, whatever this is, old perspectives. You know, to stay in alignment with or to continue traveling towards your north node. All right, but I'm literally like, success is yours. That's what I have for you. All right, that's all for you. Peace.